bounce patch just got implemented. Zenisek, the Dark Puppeteer, very strong now, but people are confused about the passive. The passive is only going to cleanse the inability effects, not all of the debuffs, just FYI. Also, she is immune to attack bar decrease, and she uh, increases the attack bar of all allies with the removed inability effects by 30%. So let's take a look at her, and let's see what she's capable of. Interesting, wouldn't have expected Zenisek to be used here, but maybe they just feel like using her because uh, newly buff, right? Because she's, she's not great against every debuff. She's great mostly against decreased attack bar and CC. So let's let's see see what happens in this. Oh, this person did not read the uh, the balance patch. Is is what I'm noticing? W were they trying to stop the bomb? Because uh, I mean they have immunity on the uh, the entire team, so they're they're increasing the cooldown, which the passive is not going to be affected by that. Um, and then the second skill, Zenisek's second skill is a bomb, so that wouldn't matter. I think they're just trying to decrease the attack age. But she's immune to attack age decrease, so the, I, I don't think this person read the balance patch, which is important to read the balance patch so that you know what the units do, even if you don't own the units. Got him, or at least watch the video, right? Guys, like, no, we don't want to. We don't want to watch your videos. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see the CC. There we go. If you take a look at Bulwark, he just got uh, cleansed from CC. It doesn't cleanse everything. It's not Veramos. It's not the. It's not Rakuni, but it does cleanse the CC. So. An amazing, amazing amount of damage over there. Sarcasm. All right, what skills does Zenisek? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna say what skills does Zenisek have? As soon as they get the CC, so all the CC from the uh, the Robo is gonna get cleansed, and then whatever CC. That's the only thing, really. Yeah, this it's just the the Robo CC because the uh, the Shengpeng is not on despair. The uh, Oliver is not gonna stun anything. So, I mean, Busa skill one, but this would be better against uh, crowd control teams. Like, for example, this would be this would be really nice, actually. Oh, crap. I was, I was gonna say it'd be really nice against the Light Monkey, and then I'm like, oh wait, that was just I'm, I'm helping people uh, beat me easier. But first, you have to actually get the unit, right? So. I'm like, well, I don't have this one, but I do have a uh, raccoon. Oh, see, see the the CC right there. That's gonna get cleansed off. There we go. And then I think this is I think this is basically game now. They got the bomb on. Well, Oliver's not gonna be. Yeah, already very aggressively picking. First off, the raccoon first pick was uh, not expected. Just a full LD team. Well, not a full LD team on the right-hand side. Okay, so bans out the Neptis because, like I said, Zenisek cannot cleanse all of those harmful effects. So she just cleanses the CC, even though... I think this is already a nice uh, nice way to show Vertiheal is still very relevant in the meta. Especially against all these LD5s that have AoEs. So let's see. Moonlight Flash. She's gonna increase uh, attack age of the Xiao. But like I said, again, Zenisek can't uh, cleanse everything. So, she is limited. One crit, one glancing. So Zenisek has decent enough attack power at least, so the bombs are gonna do a decent amount of damage as we just uh, as we just saw. I don't know the exact number of attack power that, uh, that it has. The glances from the Verti heal. It's all RNG. At the end of the day, just so much is RNG. But I think they're in a I think they're in a good spot. Aside from the fact that they don't really have sustain. The Verti heal has self-sustain, but that's about it for that team. But I think they're in a good spot regardless. Because they still have uh they still have the bomb from Zenisek. She should have the bomb now. Right? Yeah. So that should be that should be GG. Yep, typical C1 in Summoners War. Typical C1 in Summoners War in 2023. Just full LD team. You never you never know what you're gonna be fighting at any rank. So yeah. So Zenisek is not going to get uh both of those units that did the AoE attack age absorb. Zenisek is not going to get attack bar decreased over there. 
And then all of this is going to get cleansed now. All this CC. Yep, and they just give up now. But sadly, it's just a full LD5 team in uh, C1 that's, that's kind of hard to deal with for a lot of people. I'm looking through a lot of these Zenisek matches, and a lot of people are bringing her into where I think she shouldn't necessarily be brought into. They're just bringing her in against things that have debuffs. She's not, uh, not going to cleanse all the debuffs. She's just going to cleanse the CC. So, purifying police. And then, she's going to not do anything over here. Cursed Apple. But it doesn't cleanse. They would have been better off uh, bringing Vermoss in here. But I think there's just a misconception on, on, on what she does. Which is odd. I feel like I'm I'm surprised there's a misconception. But... Yeah. The Gany Hathor again. Alright. Gany Hathor, Zenisek. Hathor gets banned out. And the damage dealer gets banned out. The Masha is the... Uh, the the biggest damage you 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 have some damage with the uh, Oliver especially with the T online defense break but all that CC is gonna get cleansed right there so I think they're still in a pretty decent spot both teams have damage both teams have sustain that Oliver is not gonna get a lot of value out of the uh, out of the Zenisek uh, trying to steal her attack age. I don't, I don't know if this is going to work so well, but they also had the uh, T online is a pretty hard counter to that. At least we got to see a little bit more what Zenisek can do, but I think a lot of people are using it in uh, not the most optimal spots. Double on Miyuji. And then we have bombers on, but we have multiple bombers on both sides. Okay, so the LD stay in, CR gets banned. And Shizuka gets banned. Well, let's see. We got the stun there. Resist the uh, the defense break. Simple solution. So that's done. So that's not done. John uh, was recently buffed in this balance patch too. So his primary target is going to uh, increase the cooldowns. So he increased the cooldowns on the uh, Shung Pung. And it's not going to cleanse these. Zen Zenisex is not going to cleanse the bombs. It's going to cleanse the CCs that the bombs do. Actually, it's going to cleanse these CCs now as well. And also increase attack age. As you see with the, uh, the Sheng Peng. Increase the attack age on him. Increase the attack age on Vanessa. I mean, Sheng Peng died anyway, but... You know. It is what it is. Or the additional turn. So, Chimera is... I was going to say Chimera is down. He's not down. I always think these things are going to are gonna kill and then they wind up not killing and then I'm like oh just kidding just they didn't get the defense break soon enough they didn't get the defense break at all so yeah I, I feel that this is oh I feel that this is game but you never know that's still it's a two turn bomb for most of them so yeah first pick Gemini this is this is beautiful because Gemini is so much better now just that removing that one condition uh, in my opinion made him so much better he even gets banned uh, but the Zenisek does is she on Swift she is on Swift not that she really needed to be on Swift though for this they did get a bomb but uh, well they, they got a stun and a bomb so they didn't have to worry about the uh, Chimera doing that much damage but let's see all of these CCs are going to get cleansed. At, well, <laughs> all of the CCs are going to get cleansed in a second. Not quite, uh, considering. Wow. All those turns. GG Ninja. So the cleanse here. Never mind. Um, at least the cleanse for herself. So. Uh, but I, I have been noticing that a lot of people are just picking Zenisek into whatever. Regardless if she's the best unit for the job or not, like they're picking Zenisek into things the way the opponent's not even picking a CC team. So, uh, yeah, I feel like if you if you try to get her to do things that she's not intended for, you're not going to see great results. So definitely bring her against, like for example, Wind Robo is great. Uh, she's great against that. She's great against any CC, but she's not a great against every single debuff. So two CC units on the right hand side. Zenisek gets picked uh, into that. And now we have attack power buffs and defense breaks. The attack power buff and the scroll trap gets banned out. All right. Strips quite a lot there. Gianna gets a turn. Stuns, but gets cleansed. Okay. But the cleanse on Shizuka. Wait, hold on. I was going to say, well, no, 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 because no, she can't get attack age decrease. So cleanse on Shizuka. 
Uh, Shizuka's gonna get her CC cleansed and also attack age increased there. All things in nature. That was actually a pretty decent. Didn't think that they were gonna go for the Zenesect there. I thought they were gonna go for the Gianna, the, the reset on Gianna. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Maybe that's just how I would have played it. I'm sure they have their reasons as why they played it like that. It's not like this is a fighter two match or anything, so I'm sure they have their reasons. Let's see, trying to take down that, uh... but they're going to get that CC stripped off and then he's going to get attack gauge, but is it going to be enough? Okay, dismounts and then, yeah, it's not going to be, it's not going to be enough on him. Okay, and then I think at, at this point, the Water Art Master doesn't have enough juice. <laughs> He's not going to have enough juice to really uh, get a comeback here. They got the bombs, and then they also have Shizuka's going to be able to do uh, all things in nature and also revive something. So I think that that's that's already game. Yeah. GG. Anyway, that's it for this one. Zenisek, great unit now. Much, much better than she was before. She doesn't cleanse everything. I just want to make that very clear to people. Uh, she's not going to cleanse everything, but she's really good against CC teams specifically. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.